issues, you know, whether it's things that affect you directly, whether you've got interest in wider things, like people have said there, the environment, the wider world, foreign affairs, things like that. People vote all sorts of ways for all sorts of different reasons. It's not about your own self-interest necessarily. It can be about looking after your neighbours. It can be about looking after the environment or the wider world. Uh, today is the last day of this election campaign. I've been doing it ever since the council elections, actually, because they finished on the 4th of May. Uh, Nick here has been absolutely brilliant. He's a councillor in Bessica, and he's been by my side practically the whole time. What I would say is if you want to go into politics, you will need to buy some good shoes, because I have walked... <laughs> 250 miles according to my iPhone and about 600,000 steps in the last month. I've knocked on something like 10,000, 15,000 doors. I've spoken to people all over Don Valley and if you don't know Don Valley goes from basically Conisborough all the way down to Bawtry all the way up to Thorn which is a bit of a pain because you have to go on the motorway for 20 minutes to get there every time and it also includes the area around here, Finley, <coughs> Orkley etc etc. It's been really, this is, like you guys, this is actually my first election campaign as a candidate. I, I've always been interested in politics, I studied it at university, but I thought it was important to go out and get a real world job first before I got into doing politics, you know, as, as a genuine profession, which we'll find out today whether I'm going to get to do that. Um, so I only really started getting actively involved in party politics in the run up to the last election. Uh, I got involved with the campaign with my MP uh, and he encouraged me and there's a process you go through with the Conservative Party, with all parties, where you get approved and literally I got approved to be a candidate on April the 6th and then Theresa May called the election about a week later and then I got invited to be selected for Don Valley. We had a selection meeting uh, and happily the people of uh, the, the Conservative members here voted for me <coughs> and since then I've been pounding the streets, knocking on doors, done a bit of television with Look North. Uh, done a bit of radio, we had a French radio uh, guy over the other day, so it will have gone out on Europe One, but I, we haven't heard the clip yet. It's been such a great adventure, I guess. I've got no idea what the result's going to be tonight. Um, you guys over there seem to know it's going to be pretty close, and you're absolutely right. It will be close here in Don Valley. Uh, but win or lose, I've had a great experience, and politics is something that everyone should be very dedicated to the idea of public service. An awful lot of them have taken pay cuts to become MPs, uh, from both parties, because they actually believe in going out to help people. And they work incredibly long hours. They spend, use, when Westminster sitting, four days a week in Westminster, then they have a Friday doing constituency surgeries, Saturday and Sunday often going to events in their constituency. I mean, they obviously have staff to help them with all these things, but they, they do work incredibly hard, and it does put a huge strain on their families. And I suppose I should mention that I've got a wife and three young children, and I'm incredibly grateful to her for how well What do you think about the terror attacks happening lately? Uh, well, obviously the first thing is to say that, of course, we have all the utmost sympathy with all the victims, both in Manchester and in London. Um, we, you know, it is, when you look at the numbers, it's impossible for us to stop people who literally just armed with vans and knives getting through. What we need to do is really get to the core of why they're doing it. And this is a different problem to what we had before with the IRA. The IRA, though obviously completely disagreed with them, you could see they had a political purpose, and they worked towards it, you know, through fair means and foul, and in the end we went, got to a peace process. I'm really not sure what the peace process is with people who want this death and destruction and actively hate our way of life.